<sighs> Can you tell I've been up all night long? It's daytime. It is... I don't even know what time it is. Stayed up so long. My Android Wear went dead. My Google Glass up front charging. I don't know what time it is. I just know it's pretty early. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning, I think. And uh, I worked all night. Yesterday, I stayed up all day, got loaded. Didn't get loaded until midnight up in Atlanta. Then I had to drive all the way down here to Plant City, Florida for a morning delivery, and they're not ready for me yet. Look at out the window. If you could see it. Let's see if I can. Yeah, see the trucks out there, the trailers? They're all in front of me. So I got to wait for them. And no rest for the wicked because I can't sleep today neither. I have to stay up all day because now I have, when I'm finally done here, I have to go over to Tampa and pick up a load that has to be up in New Jersey by Monday morning at 5 a.m. I think. I don't know. I don't know. I got to check all that stuff out. Did I say today's a daily vlog yet? It is. It's a daily vlog. Welcome everybody to another Glass Geek daily vlog, a vlog that happens pretty much daily. And today, today I got some more DJI Osmo goodness to show off. I stopped by my son's house about 5.30 this morning because I knew some packages came yesterday and I'm going to show them off a little bit. I already took them out. I did an unboxing without recording the unboxing. I did not record the unboxing and I already took everything out, put it together, but I'm going to show you everything put together. But I'll show you what, before I do that, I'll show you what came because I kept the boxes. It's just the boxes are empty now because I was so excited I had to put it together. So number one was the car mount. The car mount. So I get to show you guys that. It's pretty good. It sticks pretty much on anything. <coughs> I guess you could do like 65 miles an hour down the road with your Osmo slapped on your hood or the roof of your car, or in my case, the motorcycle or the hood of my truck. Control the Osmo from inside using your mobile devices, you know, so you could turn the camera around and move the gimbal and do some cool recording, I think. I could get some cool road shots close to the road. So I'm looking forward to that. And something else I've been wanting was a stabilizer, the one that goes up and down, which creates a fourth access point. And so instead of a three access gimbal, now I have a four access gimbal. So all shots should be smooth, not moving around like I am right now with my cell phone. And that's what this is right here. This is called a Z accent. I can't even say it. Read it there. I'll let you guys say it. But I got that. I also got an, uh, another battery, but this battery is not a battery. It's a fake battery, but it looks like a real battery. And it has a cable coming out of it. And with that cable, I can connect it to my drone battery, which is a big battery, which should last me days and days and days rather than that little small battery that only lasts about 30 minutes. So if I'm walking around theme parks and stuff like that, I'll get one of those manly, those manly fanny packs. <laughs> Can a fanny pack be manly? I don't know. But I'll get one of those, put the big battery for my drone inside that manly fanny pack, and then put the wire down in there and uh, walk around with my Osmo and recording all day. I think the only thing I need now is a couple extra... Um, SD cards that would be good I got a 64 gig and three 16 gigs but I'd like to have a really good size SD card I don't have a good good size one 64 gig is all I have that's the biggest one and if you're shooting in 4k or something like that 64 gig isn't very much but luckily I've been shooting in 1080p so they last a little bit longer but anyway I'm gonna go ahead brush my hair I already checked in with security you guys want to see a glimpse of it set up real fast before I show you everything and break it down and, and, and show you how awesome all this stuff is. Look at this. Look. Let's get close. 
Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. It's pretty awesome. This is awesome. Look at that. Ooh. Wee. Yeah, so I got it all set up. I got it all set up. It's pretty cool. I'm excited. I'm going to... I don't even know if I could sleep. I'm extremely tired, but I'm extremely excited too. And when you're this excited and extremely tired, one thing has to give. And it's probably my sleep. That's what's going to give because I'm not going to be able to sleep. I got to play with this thing. <coughs> Especially before I show it on today's daily vlog. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Let me get up, brush my hair, look a little bit more presentable. Get this load emptied. Go to Tampa, pick up my next load shoot up to Wildwood, grab a shower, shave, so I can do, and put some clean clothes on. Not that this isn't clean. I really don't get out to do anything to make myself dirty, but some fresh clothes. Let's put it that way. I need to get some fresh clothes on, shave, and do the do, and then I can do a proper show and tell, a show and tell, just like we were in kindergarten. So in just a little bit, I will talk to you guys. See ya in the next clip. Okay, I'm back into a door, getting unloaded, still at my first stop. I still look tired, still have bags under my eyes. My hair is still a mess, still haven't shaved, but a hat hides the hair. Google glasses kind of hides the tired eyes a little bit because you're not looking so much at these unless I point them out. You're probably looking at these, but because I probably pointed out the bags, the sleepy bags, you're probably focused on them right now. Anyway, so I'm backed up into the door waiting for them to unload me, and I figured this is a perfect time to just kind of walk you through, after I take a sip, sip, of some of the new stuff that came in the mail today, already connected. Later on, on my other channel, I might break it all down, lay it on a table, show each individual piece, and then how easily it all connects. But uh, I'm so tired, I don't wanna do that right now. But I'm so excited also about the stuff that I got. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of give you a quick walkthrough of the stuff that came. So check some of this stuff out. Check some of this out. That's my Osmo. That's my Osmo. That's my Osmo. Good, good Osmo. Good Osmo. All right, well, what came in the mail today was actually a few things. For starters, I'll show you the big things and then I'll show you the small things. The biggest thing that came today <coughs> was this vehicle mount. It has three very, very powerful suction cups. Even with just one of them connected, I cannot lift. I, it, it, it's extremely strong. It has a locking mechanism here. And it has locking mechanisms on each foot. It's all metal. Very well built. I think it's metal. It's either metal or some weird plastic. But I think it's metal because this is metal. This is metal. This feels like metal. But the feet are some kind of really hard plastic with the normal suction cup thingies. But what's awesome about it, it comes with lots of points of articulation. So this art, this arm articulates, has a little ball down here. This articulates and has a twisty thing to loosen. So I can make it shorter if I want to. I could take this whole part off and just mount the Osmo right here. Bring it closer, like if I'm on a motorcycle or something, I can do that. And then this shaft has a point of articulation right there. And with this point of articulation is how you can twist and move the Osmo. I could tilt it right and left just by loosening it up a little bit. So that came today. That, and what, and well, that's not this part. That's not this part. The, the So that shaft, this articulating point screws into that part. And what that part is right here is something else that's pretty awesome. This is the Z-axis. So this gives another point of articulation. So if you're walking, this, this levels out the fourth axis. So not only do you have these 
three axis that the gimbal does but if you're walking to get that bounce out of your step see so this would rotate and this would stay level if I'm walking and the camera would stay level so I got this this came in the mail today but what's really awesome about this is I was always in the need for extra places to connect stuff always so I bought this adapter here this arm to be able to connect two things like my cell phone my microphone and with another cold uh, cold shoe up here I can connect something like a light but I could only go one side and the other that's it but when I got this z-axis it came with a built-in one so I can connect this shaft as normal that would normally screw right here on the side of the Osmo and only come out one way well this z-axis also came with an extra one that comes out this way so I could screw in and add other accessories so I can add, I could get an, an extra accessory arm here to add stuff put it here or I can get another one of these actually put it here and not only come out here and back here and add two more rods for accessories so that that's pretty amazing right there so I got I have a place where I can add more accessories not that I, I really don't need any because I don't want to make it any bigger than it is it looks humongous right now because it is on the suction cup but I removed the Osmo from the suction cup and it's no bigger than it always was the only difference is this adds a good five inches which is probably a benefit because in a lot of the footage that I have shot I'm getting my uh, shotgun mic in some of the footage with this it, it would float above any of these accessories and none of this stuff would be in the shot so this kind of is a double functioning thing not only will it stabilize the video I'll, to make it a lot more smoother it will also make sure that I don't get my phone which is not in there right now and my microphone out of the way it won't be in the shot the piece of resist what's that word I should just continue speaking English for the final thing I got well there's another cable I got but you don't need to see the cable it just goes to this I received this this awesome little piece of genius it's a battery it's just like the battery that's inside my Osmo except it's not a battery it's not a battery it's a battery that looks like a battery now what you do is you take the real battery out of the Osmo put this in its place then I have a wire here a wire and then I have a second wire that I plug in here and it's pretty long it's probably a couple feet so I have another wire that plugs in here that actually would plug in to my drone battery to my DJI smart battery so I would plug in here this would be inside the Osmo giving me multiple days of battery juice because this battery is extremely powerful it's extremely smart and extremely powerful and it will give me continuous continuous recording without having to carry around multiple tiny batteries in my pocket <clears throat> so I got I got this I've already had this it goes with my phantom and uh, so that's about it that's what I was so excited about I was actually more excited about this than the suction cup that goes on the hood of the car I was really excited I was about as excited with the z-axis the the fourth access point and this the, those were the two things I was really looking forward to just because I could walk around Disney Universal record pretty much all day long get tons of footage to edit and put together by using my super battery the super battery and before I put it away and put everything in my drone carrying case all the accessories in my drone carrying case this is the one thing I have not opened yet and it is the cord that does plug into the battery so I'm just gonna keep it in there right now because I'm not gonna use it right away 
I'm just gonna use the battery that's installed and fully charged in the Osmo right now <clears throat> because I'm really not out doing anything. But if I go out hiking or checking out some abandoned places and stuff and I need that extra juice, that's when I, that's when I will open this up and grab that battery and uh, do some serious shooting, right? And the great thing about my drone carrying case, I have so much extra space in there <coughs> because this case right here that comes with the Osmo is not large enough to carry all this. It's not, it's only meant to carry the Osmo itself with the camera attached. That's all this is big enough for. But with my drone and the backpack that I have to carry my uh, Phantom, I can, uh, there's enough extra space and cubby holes and nooks and crannies where I could protect this and all of its electronic parts because there's electronics in here, there's electronics down here. It's a very sensitive piece of equipment. As you can probably tell, it's, it, it's pretty awesome. So I'm able to protect that and my microphone and stuff by putting it in with my drone. So if I'm out flying my drone, getting aerial footage, when I'm done, I could take out the Osmo and get some ground footage and then edit that all together and that's the plan for drone days but other than that this combined with this it's probably going to become my daily vlogging camera because it's I, right here it's mounted on my table good and sturdy I could drive down the road I can control the camera from the driver's seat I don't need to use the handheld controls and all the finger little buttons. I could actually control it while I drive down the road and, and start shooting video. If I wanna turn and look or have this face out the window, I could even mount this on my window or on the side of my door outside, aiming down towards the ground as I'm driving. I can do all sorts of crazy fun things as I travel around this great country that we live in. So, don't know what you guys think. Do you, are, have any of you actually thought about purchasing an Osmo? and Or have you purchased an Osmo? Have you seen an Osmo physically in a store? Have you held it, played with it? And uh, what are your thoughts about it? Do you like it? Has it uh, made your life in photography or shooting video and stuff a little bit easier? What do you think about the build quality? Me personally, I love it. I really do enjoy it. And now that I got the accessories that I actually needed because I went cheap when I purchased the Osmo I just got the basic set and slowly over the last couple weeks I've been adding accessories and uh, I ordered them from DJI and they came from China from their factory in China and uh, everything came perfect that everything was beautifully packed in a box and, and with lots of nice little teeny boxes with the, everything set in with a nice letter from DJI and uh, I, I I wasn't worried too much I heard about their customer service in the past and I was a little bit worried about that but that's with the drone side so far with the Osmo side customer service has been right up there top-notch remember Google Glass when we first got them how Google was with their customer service I've had almost not quite as good as the Google Glass Explorer program when we had our glass guides and stuff and had issues that was excellent customer service This is almost excellent customer service. It's right up there Just a little bit below that customer service we had when we were getting support for these So I don't know I, if, if you guys are thinking about getting an Osmo leave something in the comment section below What you think about it if you have any questions about it my real thoughts, which I pretty much given you my real thoughts about it I'm not a professional photographer. I don't know anything about photography too much. Sometimes I'll take a nice photo and I'm and, and people are willing to pay for it. So I, I've sold a few photos and stuff, but nothing on a large scale. I'm not a professional photographer. I have a crappy, I have two crappy YouTube channels that I do my best to do a daily vlog that you're seeing this on. And uh so that's about my extent of my photography and videography skills. What you're seeing now and what you've seen on my other channel on the Almost Daily Vlog channel. So I'm hoping that this will pick it up a little bit 
quality wise I can't guarantee content wise is going to get any better I don't think that's going to help with creating content <clears throat> though it is most of the content for today's daily vlog as a matter of fact it's probably the only content for today's daily vlog because once I'm done here and I run over and pick up my orange juice I'm going to sleep and it will still be daytime out so this is probably it so I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Why not? Why not sign off right now? Thank you guys for watching, subscribing, liking, sharing. Not only this video and, and, and other videos on this channel, but check out the Almost Daily Vlog channel, the Rick Sayer Almost Daily Vlog channel, and check out some of those videos where I go into caves and some, and some abandoned theme parks, even Universal Studios. I go there too. So check out those videos, subscribe to that channel, check out my Almost Daily Podcast. It's available on SoundCloud, it's available on Google Play Music. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe there too. And I will talk to you all when I wake up, when, I, when I'm done with work, I get a little bit of sleep, and I wake up. So until the next one, peace everybody.